What's up everybody, Net Car Guy Eddie here, and today another video. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. If this is your first time, definitely consider liking and subscribing to the content. We have a lot of fun here. But today's video is actually on our Razor Trail S1000, our 2021. And this is gonna be on Lynx's car. Um, big shout out to Lynx, you know, he, he's been investing a lot in his vehicle in order to make content for you guys. And of course, to make his vehicle better. Um, which is pretty great. Um, I, huge shout out to one of our major sponsors, Aftermarket Assassins. Thank you very much for everything that you guys do for us. Um, he did a stage two upgrade kit, which includes, uh, it's gonna include some clutch work. So it's clutch weights and a secondary helix. He also did a stage two uh, power vision, a PV3, which you know I'm a huge fan of the PV3 uh, from Aftermarket Assassins, their custom tune. And of course, you guys all know if you've been watching the channel for any length of time that he also did their free flow exhaust from aftermarket assassins. So, you know, Lynx has really gone the same way that Adam has gone in. He's really uh, kind of embellishing the aftermarket assassins world. And the reason why is because they have super quality product. I mean, really, really good prices, super quality product, and the shipping is fast. Um, the customer service over at Aftermarket Assassins is bar none, one of the best in the business, I feel. Every time I reach out to them, I get a response back right away. And the best part about Aftermarket Assassins is they're not unique to one brand, which means no matter what you drive, whether you're a fan of the channel because you like the Can-Am stuff I make, whether you like the Pro XP stuff that we make with Adam, or whether you like the Trail S1000, or you just like us because we're a bunch of goofy dudes, um, the stuff that comes from aftermarket assassins is really great because it, it basically fits a bunch of different rides so for what that's worth um if you use car guy eddie at aftermarketassassins.com you will get a little bit of a discount there on their website too so shout out to them for helping with this content so first things first i'm going to tell you right now that this install did not go as planned it did not go as planned at all in fact i'm going to tell you right now if you have a razor and you're trying to pull the primary, just spend the 20 bucks and buy the primary puller, okay? Bunch of companies make it, you can get it on Amazon, you can get it from Polaris, tons of companies make it. Basically what it is, it's a rod about this long and it's threaded in the middle. And what happens is, is you take out your primary bolt for your clutch, you put it in this and it pushes on the crank of the motor and your, your, your primary is here and when you hit it with the impact, it moves your primary off and it, it pulls it off the crank, okay? So when we did Adam's Pro XP, we didn't need that tool. Um, in fact, we just pulled and yanked, pulled and yanked, pulled and yanked, that thing popped right off. So when we did the Trail S, we were like, we don't need a clutch puller. Like, why would we need a clutch puller? This is gonna be super simple. It's not gonna be a big deal. Well, you will see why we need a clutch puller. So stay tuned. The video is going to be chopped together and I'm also going to put together some pictures of some of the stuff that we had to do uh, to make this thing work. And it was a lot of fun. So if you haven't already, like and subscribe the video. If you like the content, definitely consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below of a time that you tried to do a project and something crazy happened. Like, I don't know, just look, for instance, yesterday, right? Uh, I tried to change a fuel filter in my wife's Ram Eco Diesel. And every fuel filter from every parts house, Napa, O'Reilly, and AutoZone was this much too tall. How does that work? How does it work when there's a specific part number and it's this much too tall? So guess where I gotta go today? Dodge. And probably spend three times the amount on a fuel filter that I could at the other places, but that's okay, because fuel filters are important on diesel. We'll get to that in another video. Anyways, stay tuned to all the cuts with this, and I hope you enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. Ride hard. Air machine. Right. Come on, guys. You guys got this. Uh, I'm gonna get you demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> In every look at look, 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 Did you see that? Did you see it just? No, yeah. It just gentle. Gentle. What's up guys, what are you doing now? Maybe we should take the belt off. Belt's off. All right. Belt doesn't like to come off. Dude, I'm trying to get this guy. 
Somebody must not drive this very hard. Big go, Adam. Adam just had to use the slide hammer of his own arms. Hey, this would be a really good video to describe how a CVT works. So these are sheaves, for you people that don't know. The clutch opens like this, and then your belt rides down here. And the higher that this is, the higher gear. Oh, hey. Oh, he's going to blow it. Lakes, what are we doing? Why are you videoing me? Cuz, man, that's a big well, shaft you have there. I was Look see, how thick this is. I was hoping that, um, you know, with a six month old look, machine. Look at this shaft. Oh yeah, definitely. Thumbnail. Definitely demonetized. <laughs> hey, you know what's crazy? Is it doesn't even show my card's being paid off. It might not be updated. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was hoping with a six month old machine, you know, that the primary would just, you know, pop right out. Uh-oh. Yeah. So we got the last one off here, which is good. Hey, your belt looks like it's in good shape, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look, no glazing. I do have a puller. I, I, had, a, I had a slide hammer mine off. Come on. Come on, mechanic. Let's see the slide hammer arms. You got a little bit more. Uh, He's single in 25. Hammer. Use that girth, Adam. Let's go. Put some stank on it, Adam. This is your moment. This is your YouTube famous moment here. Oh man, he's gonna pull the whole machine over. Oh, are those chocks? Yeah, are are those wheel chocks in the front okay? Is that front wheel be. chocked? Okay. Yeah. Get it, son! Fairly confident you need to pull it simultaneously. Unless I got the Pro XP off. You should be good, dude. I mean, with how much you use that hand and those arms. <laughs> You think he could just grip it, and just, right? Ah, just the right hand right, only. Like Ladies, this young hunk of man meat is single. You're in the Plumas Lake, California area. He just bought a house. House, side by side, brand new truck. Yeah. Imagine how many purses he could buy you. But or you gotta look like, look at his sister. Hell, I didn't know you were right behind us. My bad, we're trying to hook up Adam here. Hunk of meat, oh my goodness. <laughs> Hunk of meat, look at him down there. Expand your search radius, not just Plumas like Northern California. Yeah, if you're in Northern California and you look like Selena Gomez. If you're in the Western Hemisphere. <laughs> all over California. Tell him, shut the fuck up, Adam. Oh no, demonetize. I gotta bleep it. He'll travel. Oh. Will travel. I'm gonna put on gloves and pull that off in one pull. Do it. Oh. <laughs> got my gloves on, I got my beanie on. Let's go. Here we go. We're gonna get this off. Okay, let's see this. One pull, baby. One pull. See this? Oh! It's like I was about to shoot up or something right there. You know from experience, don't you? No, I don't. It's way too cheap for that. <laughs> I own a side by side. Hey, but you know, you can live in a Can Am. You can't you, drive a house. You can't drive a house. I blame your wheels in the way. That's the that. issue. Come on. Okay. Hunk of man meat's not working here. We're going to try a little harder. So I think what it was was the 200 horsepower on the Pro XP just made that all loose. That's what came out hella easy. Because it worked it so hard? <laughs> yeah. So when you work it hard, it gets looser? Apparently. And hey, do you have any ballistol or WD-40 or anything? So, it's gonna work. Uh, this is our homemade puller. This, this is not, so you I don't like her. this. Here we go. Where's the where's the hammer? Dang, he's got a whole drawer of hammers. Here we go. Do what with it? Whack the bolt. Yep. Not the clutch, the bolt. I hit the bolt. 
<laughs> I got it on film. You act like it's easy to get in there. It's not. He used a metal one. Okay. It's almost like that wasn't long enough. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did that put a hole in the end of this? No. You sure? Yeah. Is this... Look at that. Yeah. That was where I was pushing against the other one that I can't get out now. Oh, because it's now cross-threaded on your threads inside there? It's ground into the threads? Probably. Oh, God. Oh, that's what happened. It snapped. Oh. The punch snapped. So I got punch pieces down in there somewhere. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How much of the punch... I'm gonna take the whole clutch out and half the motor apart. Awesome. Man, if we could just get it out. So now at this point, you're probably thinking, what the heck did these guys do? Basically, the puller that we had was too short. So in this picture here, you, we ended up going to Home Depot and buying a 3 8 inch rod uh, and it's Lynx cutting it. This is the difference between the aftermarket assassins uh, weights and the stock weights. You can tell the profiles just steeper and when you look at the weights the profile determines the rpm load and the torque curve so you can really see a good shot here which is nice uh how it's going to build power this is just a picture of adam doing his thing he's like the clutch master when these things are taken apart this is the moment that we actually caught adam saying you guys didn't help me with mine and another video here of just the differences between the weights but once again, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy.